Hello everybody, I'm Boaz Feiler. I'm an evolutionary astrologer and I'm here with the evolutionary astrology message for the week between November 2nd and 9th, 2019. I'm here with Georgia by my side and God knows this is a very transformative time that astrologers have been speaking about for years, mentioning for months. I've been um, mentioning in, in my videos this time for a long time and especially in the last two weeks I've been telling everybody here it is you know here's the tidal wave that's gonna take us to where it is where you need to go wherever it is we cannot say we cannot know and we have to give in to that wave in our lives in a sense and I was telling people in a in a video before that we have to get in sync with that wave we cannot go too fast become too individualistic too extreme and obsessive compulsive about our ideas and how we want things to be because we'll just tip over that wave and start tumbling in the current inside it and if we don't row fast enough we're going to be left in the desert of yesterday so it's about finding that sink and believing in change, not only for you, but for everybody around you. Because oftentimes that change occurs not when I want it, but when somebody else brings it up into my life. And this time has this amazing tendency to uh, drag out from the ends of our sewers, you know, everything we've been trying to forget that is there and bring it up to the surface so we could smell it and see it and have to deal with it whether we like it or not you know our shadows are dancing in broad daylight right now so hang in there and remember that this is going to get more intense until January which is peak time and it's still going to be there until March 2020 you know so this isn't a sprint it's more like a marathon and we need to keep our heart rate and breathing steady as we go along this race the energies are going to intensify Tuesday is peak time this week for that intense challenging aggressive energy that is going to come up in the sky and my main message for you this week is that it ain't over until the fat lady sings don't think that the storm is behind you it isn't we're in the midst of it and when we have the god of war the young warrior mars or aris in greek squaring which is a very conflictual aspect a challenging aspect so mars is challenging pluto aris in greek the god of the underworld and volcanoes and all the emotional drama that we have inside it's anger and rage coming to fight one another this time is notorious from for us being overly cruel whether on a public level or on a personal level too intense uh, too aggressive and revengeful you know when we have to watch out for these traits in our lives personally and also outside god forbid we don't want to see terrorist attacks, we don't want to see armed conflicts, we don't want to see any of these tragedies taking place. And it's a volatile time. It is a volatile time. So enhance your calm, folks, you know. Enhance your calm and, and, and try and move through the storm with as little damages to your ship as possible. Um, beware of your own intensity beware of the tendency to make mountains out of molehills we can feel everything so intensely right now that our reaction could be too intense and actually inflict more damage than it positively should so that is peaking on Tuesday and it's going to stay there throughout the week but it lessens on uh, Friday and Saturday over the weekend. Thursday already is looking much calmer. And Friday and Saturday are as well. And there is a kind of a pause and we all need it, you know. Things can start winding down a little bit and we could breathe in. As the sun sextiles Saturn brings some stability to our life. Consistency. 
in consensus and and holds things a little you know in a good way and the sun then trines Neptune which is a great time to talk to the muses and actually take everything that we're going through and make a poem or a theatrical play or a painting or dance it out you know make something artistic creative or spiritual work with it and especially outside in nature nature can be very healing for us at this time and also in our work we could find more tranquility and a slower pace more lethargic pace that is actually good for us at the moment with Saturn sextiling Neptune a day later so that's about it I want to remind everybody that groups of all levels are starting with me next week you can study with me from wherever you are around the world it's through zoom meetings so you can see each other hear each other and everything is recorded for you you can see my computer screen and I can show you charts and exercises and in 15 sessions you can open up a chart yourself so contact me if you're interested and of course for personal consultations as well I want to thank you for sharing these and commenting on them because they expose these videos to more people so may you spread the light and spread the message and may we all live long and prosper thank you bye bye